The Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. It was great. It really was. Um, we're going to show you full highlights coming up here on CBS Sports HQ. This game just going final moments ago from El Paso, where Ben Sauls booted a 47-yard field goal to win it 37-35. He goes 5 for 5 on the day. Uh, but the story early on in this game was Dorian Thompson Robinson. He started hot, 9 of 12, nearly 200 yards, two touchdowns. But I think throws three interceptions, gets injured. So in comes the back of Ethan Garbers, leads them to a touchdown drive. In less than two minutes, the true freshman T.J. Harden scored, but there was still too much time left on the clock. There was some 34 seconds left. Nick Patty, the guy that replaced Kenny Pickett, drove him all the way down the field. A couple big throws, a couple run plays to get Ben Sauls in field goal uh, range, and he booted it in from 47 yards out as he goes five for five, and they win it 37-35 in a great Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. Get some instant analysis. Welcome in former Louisiana running back Emery Hunt. And Emery, I got to start with you here in terms of the running back. The true freshman TJ Harden, he's going to be a, a talented young man, but too much time left on the clock for Pitt there down the stretch. Yeah, too much time, man. And it was all about the running backs because you look at Pitt's running back, Rodney Hammond, was a big reason why they were able to stay in this ball game and come back. UCLA couldn't stop the run to save their life all throughout the game. Even Nick Patty, the quarterback for Pitt, was able to pick up some crucial first downs with his legs, even buy some time in the pocket and find guys deeper down the field. But this was all about the run game of Pitt and also the defense of Pitt to stay active inside the red zone. You feel bad for Dorian Thompson Robinson, who got injured late in this ball game, and two of his interceptions came inside the red zone. And that was crucial because those were going to be com completely touchdown drives for UCLA. Would have probably put this game away early but you look at that pit defense battling back finding a way to make a way and that offense show resiliency on that last drive to drive down the field to get the game winning points so and for dorian thompson robinson fantastic career but the fact that he got injured with only 15 yards left to break the all-time ucla passing record you feel for that young man because he could have went out the king of uh, pasadena well i'll tell you what he still ranks first in several categories in ucla school history but really, what happened, do you think? Because he started off hot. Again, 9 and 12, 200 yards, two touchdowns, and then three interceptions. What changed or what did Pitt do to disrupt him? It was the opportunistic play of Pitt's defense because two of those interceptions, like I say, were inside the red zone, inside the green zone to be more specifically. One ricocheted off the receiver's hands. They hit him in the face. The other one ricocheted off the guy's hand, hit the defender right in his face. So... Both of those interceptions were unfortunate. The last one was costly because it came at an inopportune time. They were trying to recover from a previous turnover uh, where the guy fumbled on the kickoff. So these turnovers kind of doomed UCLA because they happened on the wrong side of the field and kind of led the, the comeback for Pitt. But it's all about UCLA's defense. If they're going to move forward in the Pac-12 and be a significant player, yes, you're going to recruit some guys, get some talented players in there, but that defense is has to be better if they want to compete in what will look to be an explosive Pac-12 conference. Well, this looked like this uh, this UCLA team was going to run away with it. And then Pitt just hanging around. At one point, they had scored 20 unanswered points, scoring on four of their past five drives, uh, getting takeaways aplenty. And then you have this story of Nick Patty, right? He replaces Kenny Pickett, could have left, could have hit the transfer portal, but he stays, uh, keeps his commitment to Pat Narduzzi, and then drives him down the field and sets up the field goal kicker for the game-winning drive. What's to say about Nick Patty here uh, down the stretch and, and ultimately to stay with this program and get them a huge win in the Sun Bowl? Yeah, remember, Akeem, he also had to fight through the fact that they brought in Keaton Slovis. Yep. So imagine now you're there and they bring in a transfer that was okay at USC, and you're like, man, I'm better than this guy, and now you get your opportunity to really showcase what they had already on the roster. You love the resiliency. You love the dual threat nature of his game because he made some big time scrambles in the second half that kept drives alive and his legs actually got them in position to kick the game winning field goal. So you like the resiliency. You like the fact that he stayed at Pitt. He competed well, got the opportunity and made the most of it. My old coach used to say a play doesn't care who makes it. It just wants to be made. And he made numerous plays out there today for the Panthers. I'll tell you what, I, I can't remember a bowl season this bonkers and I, I've been watching college football as long as you have my friend and I feel I mean I know there's been some seasons where things have been wild
but I feel like every day of bowl season, we have had some wild finish, some wild ending, field goal, overtime in some of these games where it's like, oh, I don't know if I really, really want to watch that. And then you're like, oh, Pitt, UCLA? Oh, they're, they're close in the fourth quarter? I mean, this has been must-see TV every day of the bowl season. And listen, I'm not just saying this because I'm with CBS. I work for CBS like, like we all do. But I've been a fan of this game. The Sun Bowl has been one of my favorite bowls to watch back when it was the John Hancock Bowl. So, you know, this is something that I've always looked forward to because these games are always entertaining. We get back and forth the fair. Now, granted, if you are a UCLA fan, UCLA fan, you want this game to end at halftime because you had complete control. But if you're a Pitt fan, man, imagine the amount of buzz that's going to be around that program heading into 2023 with what they were able to show out there against a, on a national stage against a really good offense in UCLA. Man, this was just a fantastic college bowl game. To, but to your point, because we have the uncertainty of the transfer portal, guys opting out to go to the draft, some guys just sitting out because they want to preserve their health for future endeavors, we get all of those things. But, man, that's what makes college football so fun, and that's what makes this bowl season, like you said, so unpredictable. Well, I'll tell you what, Pitt ended the season hot, winning five straight after starting the season four and four. So that says a lot about Pat, Pat, uh, Pat Narduzzi's program. In terms of Chip Kelly's program, I mean, this is still, despite the loss, this has been a heck of a turnaround. Uh, let, let me show you the numbers here. Chip Kelly in his first 40 games, 15 and 25. And then since then, 12 and four in his past 16. You take a look at the numbers here, Emery. I mean, this just speaks volumes for what Chip Kelly has done in Los Angeles. And you talk about why that happened. You get Dorian Thompson Robinson. You get Zach Charbonnet to transfer in. You start to have guys like Rick Dulcich uh, now is with the Denver Broncos. But when he was there, he was very productive as a tight end. You're getting your guys in. Your system still is your system, and it works. We saw them drive down the field at the end of this game to get in position. Garbers had to come off the bench cold and was able to lead them down the field what looked to be a game-winning drive. So you're getting your guys in, and your system has always been one that puts a lot of pressure on opposing defenses. You can run the football under Chip Kelly. You can create the big play in the passing game. If he can get his defense right, Chip Kelly will have UCLA in, the, in contention for a college football playoff spot. All right. We'll see about that, especially when you have a couple of programs leaving for the Big Ten and, and moving on. We'll see uh, what, what ends up happening here and for the SEC and for the Pac-12. Uh, this has been, look, this whole entire bowl season has been great. A another example here is the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. A and look, I know it's corny and it's cornflakes, but that was great, Emery. It was great. I that's all I got to say is a dad joke. That was great stuff. Uh, appreciate the analysis here on CBS Sports HQ. Emery Hunt, the former Louisiana running back, joining us on HQ. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.